and there are three bodies in there damn it so all of three of them is dead hello everyone welcome back to my channel fix pay and we will continue with kingdom come deliverance so now i'm coming back into in in the glade and there is a quest from matthew and fritz so we will do that for now You already talked to Matthew? No. No, I haven't. So go and see him. This might be our chance to earn some real money. Okay, so this quest is... Um, Greetings, Henry. The most complicated... So far. So... What are you scheming up this time? Well, we've got this idea. We have several you might options. Have heard there's coin coming to the Tarnberg quarry to pay the workers their overdue wages. And I think I will do that all. Well, not all, but the biggest picture. I haven't heard anything about it. They owe them for a quarter of a year. There's a lot of quarrymen in that quarry. But it's bound to be well guarded, isn't it? Maybe not, if we time it right. And why aren't we talking about it with Andrew? Andrew hasn't got the balls for it. He sent us to hell. He did? How come? I don't know. He just said he won't do it. Andrew's not interested. Is it that dangerous? Look, if I'm going to do this, I want to know everything. <sighs> it's close to Tarnberg. So if we mess something up, we could have problems. But what a pile of silver. And why aren't we talking about it with Andrew? Andrew hasn't got the balls for it. He did? How come? I don't know. He just said he won't do Let's check all the dialogues. Very well. And why aren't we talking about it with- Andrew hasn't got the balls for it. <sighs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Those, those people work for Sigismund? Uh, yeah, yeah, for Sigismund. And are you quite sure? No, actually, they're not Sigismund's people. And you think it's all right? Is that what we are now? Common thieves? What do you want me to tell you? Take a good fucking look at us. You're all right, but we're up to our next in shit. But a thing like this? Do you think we're any better off now than we were in Sassal, on our last legs at the tavern? Yes. Then you're a fucking fool. Ever since Skelet, everything's been going to hell. Why should we have to pay the price for that? To hell with the fucking quarrymen. Okay. So, before we accept this quest, I just need to find I will out end the first. dialogues right, and save. Good luck then. Okay, now let's do this and let's accept the quest. Hey, Henry! About that job. I'm in. I'm in. Wonderful. But before we get to work, we have to find out more. We are gonna go and take a sly look at that quarry. Meanwhile, you go to Talmberg and find out when they're bringing the coin. Try to find out who's gonna be guarding it. Even better. If you could make it so there's as few guards as possible, well, you know, I wouldn't be upset at all. How am I actually supposed to do it? Do what? How am I supposed to find out when they're bringing the coin in? You're pretty well known around these parts, aren't you? You'll find a way. <laughs> uh, no problem. I can handle that. How am I supposed to find out? You're pretty well known around these parts. 
But wait, how am I supposed to handle it? You must be able to tell me something. What do I know? Ask around. Someone from the garrison is sure to know. Damn it. How am I supposed to find out when they're bringing the coin in? You're pretty well known around these parts, aren't you? Well, so it's up to me to fix everything for you again, is it? Supposing I just tell you to fuck off. No need to get all worked up about it. We're doing our bit. We're going to check out the quarry, aren't we? <laughs> so it's all up to Henry. You hinted there could be a way to make sure as few guards as possible get sent to escort the money. Maybe. Ask Fritz about it. He's good at making trouble. Couldn't we steal it right in Townborough? Or somewhere along the way to the quarry? If you want to get yourself killed, do it alone. Mm, true. That wouldn't be a good idea. Do you know anything about the quarry? A little bit. We'll check it out. We'll have to do it quickly. We'll make sure there aren't so many guards. Mm. And can't we bribe them? Hmm, maybe. But it might be a risk for some of them. They might blab them. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll be dealing with other problems in the region. Agreed then. I'll get right to work on it. Very well. We'll go and pay the quarry a visit. You'll find us there. How am I actually supposed to do it? Do what? Agreed then. Very well. Good luck then. Okay, we have some the quest. And then we can talk with Fritz. Hey, twat face! Twat face. So how do I make sure they cut down the number of guards when they transport the money? <laughs> Easy. Make a light ruckus. Ruckers? Ruckers? Hubba! Bedlam! I mean, just give someone around Townberg a punch in the mouth. Start a brawl. Or steal something valuable. And that'll help. Of course. The townsfolk will be furious. They'll start clamming for more guards in the town. Take my word for it. Nine times out of ten, punching someone in the gut is the best solution. Okay, so that's a uh, solution that will not work in this case. So let's talk about anything Do you else. Have any other ideas? Well, most guards. Especially the ones in charge, the lazy fuckers. If you could figure out a way to get rid of their horses, I'd bet at least a few of them won't go anywhere. Thanks. <laughs> what okay. a pleasure. I'm sure there's some other tricks you could try. Well, that's all I can think of. Good luck then. So, about the horse, that is a good idea. And then I think I will stay for getting here. Oh no, I'm drunk now. So, but this quest is a requirement to do a specific quest with Andrew. Let's talk with Andrew now. Okay, so this quest will be available, available if only we have the quest from Matthew and Fritz. Matthew told me about his plan. That bollocks with the quarry? What the hell is he thinking? You didn't like the sound of it? No, it's too big and too much in plain sight. If the slightest thing went wrong, it'd all be fucked. And me and you too, mind, if we had anything to do with it. But it's the money owed to the quarrymen for a full quarter year's work. Isn't it worth it? No. It ain't worth the risk. Why take that chance? For the love of God. Oh, Matthew feels like he has no other way to make money. It's not my fault Matthew's useless. That's his problem. So what do you propose? Matthew and Fritz have made their minds up. You need to tell the commander of the Tomborough garrison that a robbery is in the making. Have him send his best men. When those two fools see how many soldiers there are, with any luck, they'll give up on the idea. But what if they still decide to go for it? Hey, well, then they'll be in for a very tough time of it. I... You're my old mates. You're asking too much of me. 
I know. But look at what they're trying to do for Christ's sake. Those quarrymen are honest folk who never did nothing to no one. Okay, so the girl was brothers. And if we see the side quest description, all my life I've been asking myself one thing: who to pin the blame on? So we need to decide that we'll be in Andrew's side or our friend's side, Matthew and Fritz. That's why there is uh, several things, several options we can do this quest. But first, let's go into Tombrook now. Um. I think my first option will be go with Andrew So the first option that I will take in here is I'm going inside with Andrew First, we need to talk the table master in here to get information. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You look like you swallowed a wasp, Master Groom. What's going on? I should think so. I have three horses with a fucking colic. Well, that's not such a tragedy. You need to keep the horses warm and rub them down with straw, especially the belly and flanks. That'll help settle the stomach. Give them clean water, change the straw often, and leave them enough room to roll around if they want to. And walk them round now and again, but let them go at their own pace. Don't push them. Keep that up for a week and they'll be good as gold. My word! I've been handling horses for years, but I never heard about rubbing them with straw for colic. Thanks for the help! I'm known in all the stables around here, and I'll be telling them about you, too. The thing is, Sir Robard wants four horses for the train to the quarry, and they won't be fit by then. Certainly not this one here. The quarry? What's going on there? I don't know, but a guarded train like that, they must be carrying something valuable. When do they need the horses? There's still some time. They're supposed to be there in five days at noon. What about some help from someone else? You mean from that old hag who lives in the woods? I'm not so foolish as to believe in spells. It's not about spells. She can try to make a herbal concoction. I know something about herbs, and I'll make sure she doesn't put anything in it that would be bad for the horses. Hmm. All right, then. Let's see what the old hag comes up with. God be with you. Okay, so that's the information. For the money. So I will save in here. In the bed. And then now We need to go to the herb herbalist in here to help the stable master yeah. and this is our first choice that we have choice to 
give the right potion or give him a poison for the horse if we give him potion then the guard yeah. will be a lot for the money that we need to take and if we poison the horse yeah. the guard will be less yeah. and it will be good for Matthew and Fritz because our mission is to rob the money God preserve you, good knight. Can I do something for you? You wouldn't happen to know a remedy for horse colic? Of course. Who do you need it for? The groom at Townburg is having problems. That wretch! I won't move a finger for him. I'd rather poison those horses of his. <laughs> what did he do to you? Threatened me with a whipping, the lout. And all because I suggested I could take better care of those horses than him, which is only the God's honest truth. Okay, so this is our option. We can choose this if we need to poison the horse. But if we need uh, the right potion, we need to persuade him. So I will choose the potion first. Oh, come now. You said you cared about those horses, and now you won't help them because of some grudge. Well, fine. You just need to brew a digestive potion and give it to them three times a day in small doses. What? I thought you could just give it all at once. Aye, to a man. But it's different with horses, believe me. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. So what we need is a digestive potion. So in this first option, I will be a good citizen. <laughs> okay, I think I have a digestive digestive potion in my stash yeah. so I will take that from lodgings if you don't have that you can buy it in apothecary in Ratai I'm glad to see you have you got a bed for the night well, I suppose I could find something for how long just the one night. Sure, let's see your coin first. Here you go. You like it here? Yeah? Like sleeping on a... Take care. So this is what we need, digestive potion. And then now let's get back to the groom. Someone nearby. I hope they beat the living daylights out of him. They should let the executioner have him for what he did to Smill. Aye, the executioner would give him a taste of hell before sending him there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm overheard you. Is 
I have something for your horses. Really? Put this in their food a few times a day, in small doses. I hope it ain't from that hag in the forest. Ah, well, what the hell? Thanks, Henry. Here's something for your efforts. Okay, we also God get the alchemy you. level. And then, with that, so I'm inside of Andrew now. We can still tell Matthew that Andrew will betray us, but that will be not on our advantage. So if we choose with this path, we need to talk with Sir Robert now. Where is he? Okay, I think he is in his room. Yep. Greetings, Henry. Good health to you. So let's talk about the robbery. There's a plan to rob the quarry. The quarry? What do you know about it? Once you bring the coin that's owed, they'll be waiting for you. What? How do they know about the coin? I don't know. But they aren't going to be nice about him. They've no respect for anyone. I recommend you take your toughest men. Henry. I have no idea what this all means, but I'll muster the men. But if this is some kind of joke, there'll be hell to pay. I'm afraid it isn't. God be with you. <laughs> okay. Let's see our quest. Okay, so we need to tell Matthew when the Grushins are coming yeah. to continue the sequence.
Henry. So, I'm here. Good. Do you know when they'll come? I, I know. In five days. They should be here at noon. We still have time. And do you know how many of them there'll be? Henry, I'm uh, glad you came. I don't know. Hmm. It could be bloody risky, couldn't it? Don't you want to find out more? Mm, maybe you're right. Either way, be ready. Here we still can tell Matthew, but it will be not good. Did you two find out anything? Nothing much here, but that doesn't mean we were idle while you were strolling around Tarnberg. <laughs> well, I had to stop by the tavern, didn't I? It's called investigating. <laughs> investigating the bottom of a tankard, more like. <laughs> their chief is strict as hell. I don't reckon he'll reduce their shifts, even if the money does come. If the money does really come at noon, he'll store it somewhere and let the guards from Tarnberg protect it. It'll probably be in that hut on the edge of the quarry. I don't reckon all the guards from Tarnberg will want to stand around there all day. If we get lucky, some of them will bugger off after a while. Aye. Seems likely. So, how do we go about it? We have to be patient. No shenanigans, even if we have the silver in our reach. Don't let your guard down. And then, we either charge them, or try to do it by stealth. All right. Now we'll just have to wait until they arrive. You gonna wait with us? We can wait in here for with them. So let's do that. Aye, that's probably best. Good luck then. Okay, it's already been four days. And the objective to find a way will be failed. Hey, Henry! They're here. Let's do this. So, how do we go about it? I might have an idea. You pair will be as much use as a glass hammer when it comes to sneaking. But do you think you could divert their attention? How? All you have to do is go at each other somewhere where they'll hear you. Hopefully one of the guards will go and see what's happening. Us? No one will believe that. <laughs> you two? You're at each other's throats all the time. You won't even have to pretend. If that's what you want. Me and Fritz will be having a fight not too far off. Just hope someone notices. I'll be with you. Okay, now let's follow them. Your mother is 
a hedgehog. And your father stinks like, like marigolds. So the idea here is make guards going in here and we are going to we are going to a place to get the money And the money is in here. And then we run away And so the Gallows Brothers quest is failed I'm still shaking. <laughs> the pair of you would jump at your own shadows. It was nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. You were shitting yourself. I could smell you a mile off. Me? No fucking way. I was just... <laughs> you won't talk your way out of this one. So show us the bloody money then. Here it is. Holy shit! A third of it is yours. Fuck yeah! First we get drunk out of our heads. Let Andrew see what he missed out on. I'll be with you. If we don't get give the money to them, they Jesus. will start to that attack was us. Fucking amazing! What? You actually enjoyed it? Aye, of course. This is how you make money. Oh, never again. That was fucking close. That's the fun part. <laughs> That's the Fritz we all know and love. Always to the bitter end. So, show us the money. Here it is. I can't believe it. We're rich. <laughs> that we are. I'm going to spend a week in the bathhouse. Fuck it, a month. And every wench in the province will be in there with me. God be with you. Okay, so that's the end of the quest and a good ending for Matthew and Fritz but we failed the Gallows Brothers quest
Yeah. So I'll reload and do another option. Okay, for the second options is after we talk with Sir Robert, we don't need to talk anything about the money into Matthew and Fritz. But instead, we are going to quarry. And wait here for five days to see what happens. So let's do that. Okay, so the log updated tomorrow, but I think it's this noon. Okay, they are on their way. Let's wait until they are coming. Okay, they are coming. With a lot of guards in there. We don't need to do anything. Mm -hmm. 
is many cards because we talk with Robert. Greetings from Sir Divish. God be with you. Any problems? Straight to the matter at hand, eh? No problems. We have Tarnberg in sight as well. Honestly, I don't understand why they wanted a military escort. You can never be too careful. Put it in my cabin and make sure it's guarded until the end of the shift. What? No way. We'll unload it and go. Nobody ordered us to guard anything. You're not going anywhere, young man. Not unless you want Sir Divish to hear about you shirking your duty. Ah, bloody hell. You can have half my men. Can't leave the rest of the region without any security. Hmm. That should do. Okay, now we wait until Matthew and Fritz coming to rob the money. Okay, I think this is the time, and there they are. Matthew and Fritz charge on the guards. The answer to my prayers, just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Hey, all of you, gather here, raise the alarm! Raise the alarm! Watch out! Look what's come crawling out from under some I see him! There! Alarm! What's up? Hey, there he is! Watch out! Hey! Jesus Christ! Christ. Look out! out. There's Wait. an enemy! And I'm filled in there. watch the robbery. Oh my God. There's a corpse! Watch out! I see an enemy! I still don't know how to complete that quest. Look out! There's one of those bastards! As anyone know, please tell me in the comments. So in this option, it will be resolved that Matthew and Fritz dead. Okay, now let's. Talking with Andrew and see what will he say about this. We can steal the quarryman's wages, complete the quest. God be with you. The deed is done. Are, are they? Uh... I. Both of them. I, I'm sorry to hear that. I know I can be a cold-hearted bastard, but believe me, this isn't how I wanted it to end. My door's always open for you, Hal. You'll pay for nothing. Mill, lodging, all on me. But be careful. We should lay low for a while.
and that's complete the girls brother and we got new home in here and we still need to steal the quarryman's wedges but i think we will know the result so i will reload and do the another option okay so we start with the horses and this time we will poison the horse So now we are in Matthew and Fritz fight. God grant you help. How may I help you? You wouldn't happen to know a remedy for horse colic? Of course. Who do you need it for? The groom at Townburg is having problems. That wretch! I won't move a finger for him. I'd rather poison those horses of his. And now we choose the mention of poison. Hmm. Since you mentioned poison, is there something you know of that would make horses really sick for a while? Nothing that might kill them, just make them useless for a few days and give the groom nightmares. Ha! I'd never take you for the type. Of course there's something. Normal poison will do. But they have to be dosed gradually. Thanks. And then for that we need poison and we can buy that in here. Now let's get back. With poison, it will be reduce the guard that come to the quarry. So it will be our advantage. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? I have something for your horses. Really? Give them this. It will definitely help. I hope it ain't from that hag in the forest. Ah well, what the hell. Thanks, Henry. Here's something for your efforts. God be with you. Hey. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Okay. 
Now we still have option to tell Sir Robert or tell Matthew. If we tell Sir Robert, it will be the same result as before. So this time I'm going to tell Matthew about Andrew. I'll be with you, Henry. Hey, Henry! Um, we tell the plan. So, I'm here. Good. Do you know when they'll come? I, I know. In five days. They should be here at noon. We still have time. And do you know how many of them there'll be? I'm not sure exactly. But I made sure there'll be less than there were supposed to be. Good work. So you think there's no point in finding out more? I see. Now, either way, be ready. And then tell the Andrew wants to betray you. Andrew wants to betray you. What? He wanted me to go to Talmberg and tell Captain Robard about the robbery. That horse wants to get us killed? I'll cut him in two! Now hold your horses. That'll get you nowhere. Use your head, damn it. That swine! That fucking swine! What if we lay the blame on him? What have you got in mind? They have to carry the money in a sack, don't they? What if I took the empty sack and hid it in Andrew's tavern? And then, instead of snitching on you like he wants, I tell Captain Robard he was behind it. Fuck hell! That's devious! That's ingenious! That bastard would end up hanging by his own rope! Then it's a deal. Once we get the money, I'll hide the sack somewhere here in the inn. Okay, so Did let's find out go with this plan. Nothing much here, but that doesn't mean we were idle while you were strolling around Tarnberg. <laughs> well, I had to stop by the tavern, didn't I? It's called investigating. <laughs> investigating the bottom of a tankard, more like. <laughs> their chief is strict as hell. I don't reckon he'll reduce their shifts, even if the money does come. If the money does really come at noon, he'll store it somewhere and let the guards from Tarnberg protect it. It'll probably be in that hut on the edge of the quarry. I don't reckon all the guards from Tarnberg will want to stand around there all day. If we get lucky, some of them will bugger off after a while. Aye. Seems likely. So, how do we go about it? We have to be patient. No shenanigans, even if we have the silver in our reach. Don't let your guard down. And then, we either charge them, or try to do it by stealth. All right. Now we'll just have to wait until they arrive. You gonna wait with us? Okay, we can wait in here or wait until five days to see the guards, but I will go with wait in here. Aye, right, that's Welcome. probably best. Henry! Good luck then. But it still failed. Where does the guards? But it looks like there are just four guards in there. 
So this time at night. So we need to wait until the money comes to the query. Okay. Now let's talk with Matthew. How are you, Henry? Hey, Henry. They're here. Let's do this. So how do we go about it? Okay, so just make sure that they'll, this will be successful. I might have an idea. We will do this. You pair will like be as before. much use as a glass hammer when it comes to sneaking. But do you think you could divert their attention? How? All you have to do is go at each other somewhere where they'll hear you. Hopefully, one of the guards will go and see what's happening. Us? No one will believe that. <laughs> you two. You're at each other's throats all the time. You won't even have to pretend. If that's what you want. Me and Fritz will be having a fight not too far off. Just hope someone notices. I'll be with you. Okay, come on, pal. Are we going? Fritz? You are not going? But oh, damn. Matthew will die if he is alone. Hey. Okay, let's see on Matthew. Where is he going? Okay, he is in here. What's the interesting side in here? Double with you, Henry. Okay, so they will start the plan. So I'm going there to get the wages.
Okay, now we got the money. Start running. Nice, Paul. Me, but it's ours now. I've got it, lads. My God, we pulled it off. I won't leave the tavern for a week. Jesus, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> what? You actually enjoyed it? Aye, of course. This is how you make money. Oh, never again. That was fucking close. That's the fun part. Oh, that's the Fritz we all know and love. Always to the bitter end. So, show us the money. Here it is. I can't believe it. We're rich. <laughs> that we are. I'm going to spend a week in the bathhouse. Fuck it, a month. And every wench in the province will be in there with me. Fucking hell! Christ, I'm still shaking! <laughs> the pair of you would jump at your own shadows. It was nothing. <laughs> Fuck off! You were shitting yourself. I could smell you a mile off. Me? No fucking way. I was just... <laughs> you won't talk your way out of this one. So show us the bloody money then. Here it is. Holy shit! A third of it is yours. Fuck yeah! First we get drunk out of our heads. Let Andrew see what he missed out on. See you later. Okay, so that's end the quest. For a rock in heart, please. And it's leave the gallows brothers. We need to back to the glade. And we need to go to the basement. Who 
Oh damn. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not necessary because I'm not going with this path. Okay, we put the empty bag in there and then we go to Tarobart again. Okay, I'm going to save because we need to choose an option again. Greetings. I know who's behind the robbery. What? Who the fuck is it? Okay, we have to choose Andrew or Andrew, Fritz, and Matthew. Matthew So I'm going to choose Andrew first Andrew the keeper at the inn in the glade him. How do you know do you have any proof? I overheard something in the alehouse The money is sure to be locked up somewhere there if what you say is true. They'll be hell to pay. I'll tell you that Okay, so Sir Robert is gone and now let's see in, in the glade what happened in there. And there is a person hanging in here. So many clocks and intrigues, and nothing remains but dead bodies. 
and it's Andrew. Damn. So the result of the quest is Andrew's dead. So let's choose another option. Find the robbery. What? Who the fuck is it? Andrew, the innkeeper at the inn in the glade, along with Fritz and Matthew, they keep company with him. Them? The bastards, how do you know? Do you have any proof? I overheard something in the alehouse. The money is sure to be locked up somewhere there. If what you say is true, there'll be hell to pay. I'll tell you that. And there are three bodies in there. Damn it. So all of three of them is dead. So many plots and intrigues, and nothing remains but dead bodies. <laughs> so the conclusions is if we take the Gallus Brothers quest. There will be a dead bodies. You were right. About that quarry? How, uh, how did it turn out? We searched every corner of the inn and found something in the cellar. The sacks that were used to carry the quarryman's wages. Yep. So, for... The last time, I will reload again And I'm going with The best path that I know That nobody will dead Henry! Stop by and see me when you got time Okay, now I'm back at the very beginning After talking with Matthew How are you Henry? Greetings and I'm not talk with Andrew. Take care. Pull me an ale. So the point is not talking with Andrew and get the quest of Gallus Brothers. And we go to Talmberg now. Oh, poacher. I have plenty to sell. Venison, wild boar, hares, partridges, just say the word. What'll it be? Show me what you have for sale. You have treasure maps? No. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that. Is there anything you'd like to buy?
and in here we still need to go to stable master and getting the info God be with you you look like you swallowed a wasp master I will speak this on? I should think so I have three because, horses um, with we already well, that's not such a tragedy. You need to keep the horses warm, give them clean water, chain and walk them round now and again. My word. I've been handling horses for I'm known in all the stables around here, and I'll The thing is, Sir Robard wants four horses for the train to the, the quarry? I don't know, but a When do they need the horses? There's still some time. They're supposed to Hmm. What about some help from someone else? You mean from that old hag who lives in the... It's not about spells. She... Hmm. Goodbye. And then... We will do just like before. <clears throat> We need to go to the herbalist. God say, how may I help you, good knight? You wouldn't happen to know a remedy for horse colic? Of course. Who do you need it for? The groom at Talmberg is having problems. That wretch! I won't move a finger for him. <laughs> what did he do to you? Threatened me with a whipping, the lout. And all because I suggested I could take better care of those horses than him. And in here, I will take the potion. Oh, you said you cared about those horses, and now you won't. Well, fine. You just need to brew a digestive potion and give it to them three times a day. And... What? I thought you could just give it all at once. Aye, to a man. And then this is for main quest. Okay, let's talk I'll about that. I come in that. the name of Sahanish of Lyca. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask all you want, lad. Who was this Lubosch who was murdered? Those that live by the sword die by the sword. I'm not surprised the end he came to. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Everything about him was suspicious. I always gave him a wide berth. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? How would I know? Do you know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? I don't know, since I don't go to alehouses. That's all. Thank you. Take care. Okay. So now... Go back to Thornburg and take the digestive potion. All the horses are innocent. So it's look not right if we poison them. <laughs> um, where is the lodgings? Okay, this way.
God save you. Can I sleep here? All right. For how long? Just the one night. All right. Here you are. You're liking it. Just remember that you can buy digestive potion from Ratai if you don't have the apothecary in Ratai. But because I have one in my stash, so I'll take that. I have something for your horses. Really? Put this in their food a few times a day, in small doses. I hope it ain't from that hag in the forest. Ah well, what the hell. Thanks Henry, here's something for your efforts. Take care. Okay, so we can get the alchemy experience. And then for the money that we need to rock actually we can rock that in here so I will save This is it. And then I will give them my money. Okay. So it's a win-win solution. Oh, and while we are here, Let's stole Lady Stephanie's thing. This is the quest from Voizek. I will take all of that. Nice. So we steal the money just before it's sent to the quarry. And it will be satisfied Matthew and Fritz. And also nobody will die in here.
so I like this solution so I'm going with this I've got that coin what what coin the coin they were gonna send to the quarry going to what are you saying God be we've stolen Tomba damn right well I'll be fucked so show us the bloody money then here it is holy shit a third of it is yours. Fuck yeah! First we get drunk out of our heads. Let Andrew see what he missed out on. I'll be with you. I've got the coin. Good. You can buy me a fucking beer. No, I mean the coin from the quarry. Bollocks. Nothing's come to the quarry. We know if he did. And it's not coming, ever. What? All this watching and waiting's been for nothing? Fuck. No, you blockhead. I stole the coin before it even left Townburg. What? So all this watching and waiting has been for nothing? Ha! <laughs> Come here and give me a kiss, you sneaky little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> ah, later. I'll have to get blind drunk first. So, show us the money. Here it is. I can't believe it. We're rich. <laughs> that we are. I'm going to spend a week in the bathhouse. Fuck it, a month. And every wench in the province will be in there with me. <laughs> Good boy. And that's complete the quest. Nice, right? And I still have Andrew in here because he still have another quest that I need, so I don't want him to die, nor Matthew, nor Fritz, because they are my buddy. <laughs> And then for now, I think I'm going to Boisek. And bring the jewel. Of course, it will be a... Nine bush. Where are they? I want to try to sneak in and kill them from behind or practice my pickpocket.
Why am I going with this way? This is extreme. <laughs> No, I'm stuck. Oh, yeah. At your service, Sir Knight. I have the jewels from Lady Stephanie. You're just the man. Here's your reward, and don't let it go to your head. Take care. Nice. So I think I will continue this in the next episode, so see you next time.